All right, so here we go. This is a video that I dread doing, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Quick introduction, Mark Antimate for Gentleman's Club Whiskey here. If you guys caught maybe a couple of videos ago, maybe a few videos ago, I read a newspaper clipping from a national Japanese newspaper called the Yomiri Shimbun. And it was an article uh, discussing, talking about Kirin making their debut inside the U.S. market. And the whole reason I did that is that I have a whole bunch of Japanese newspaper clippings inside of my house. They're just collected and I just want to absolutely get rid of these things once and for all. So I figured before I get rid of them, I might as well just go ahead and read them out to the world on my YouTube channel and then I can safely feel satisfied that the newspaper had served its purpose. I got the news out to as many people as possible and then I can just go ahead and trash the uh, the paper. So I have another Yomiri Shimbun uh, article here in English. It says from the Japan News. This one is from Hirofumi Imazu. Yomiri Shimbun staff writer. And uh, this is a very long article. This one is from Saturday, February 22nd, 2020. And just the reason I dread reading it is just because it's so, it's just so much. I will take a picture of it and I will throw it up on the screen so that you guys can just get an uh, image of what it looks like. Obviously, it's going to be too small for you to read. That's why I'm reading it for you guys. But I just want you guys to get an image of what it looks like. But this is it right here. So I'm getting ready to read all that on camera. And I dread doing it. I think I'm going to lose my voice by the end of it. Anyways. Yeah, I need a drink for this. Nico Whiskey from The Barrel. You guys saw me review this quite recently. I've already had two or three drams out of this this is going to be the third or fourth and uh for all you guys out there that have trouble pouring this here we go again just to let you see how easy it is put the glass up to it like that you tilt it you pour and you let go and there you have it you see i got it right up to the line on this hakushi glass so without spilling a drop mind you Wow, I got to share this one with friends. It's not the greatest whiskey in the world. It's not the worst either. It's uh, It serves its purpose. It has a purpose. It's not expensive is what it is. And uh, for the price, it's pretty good. I've just finished having a dram. This is 51%. So I'm going to pour some water inside of this because I'm not ready to get messed up today. I just did my uh, 2021 Whiskey of the Year video, and I've already drank a little bit inside of that video. So immediately following it up with this whiskey. Just don't want to get messed up, man. This is going to be my last dram of the night and my last video shooting. Mmm. little bit peppery that one all right here we go here we go let me throw it up on screen somewhere so that you guys can take a look saturday february 22nd 2020 japan in focus title of this article is called japanese whiskeys have world raising a glass Let's raise a glass to that. Let's have a sip. Mm. Article by Hirofumi Imazu, Yomiri Shimbun staff writer. And here we go. As a local train travels near Tenozen, 
a mountain that straddles Kyoto and Osaka prefectures, passengers can catch sight of a factory with huge letters reading Yamazaki on its wall. That is Suntory's Yamazaki Distillery, where the company launched its first domestically produced full-fledged whiskey, Shirofura, white label, in 1929. Nine decades later, Japanese whiskey is recognized as among the best in the world. The hometown of Japanese whiskey has drawn enthusiasts from home and abroad. Subtitle Breathing Barrels Stepping into a storage facility holding more than 2,000 barrels, I was overwhelmed by the aroma that filled the place. Perfect tranquility reminiscent of a forest dominated the cellar which makes visitors feel as, it's, as if each barrel is breathing. Exactly the breathing of the barrel is the source of the whiskey's flavor. The factory manager, Takahisa Fuji, 57 years old, agreed with a nod after I voiced my thoughts. Uh, quote, Extracts derived from the brewing and distilling processes and various ingredients dissolved from the material of the barrel itself are condensed and matured as water and alcohol evaporate. Unquote. Whiskey makers carefully brew materials such as germinated malt and further heat them in a distillation pot to produce unblended whiskey with alcohol content of about 70%. After adjusting it to about 60%, they put it back in a cask and let it mature year by year. Barrels are mainly made from North American white oak or Japanese Mizunara oak. Some were previously used for wine or sherry production. A wine barrel made from French oak can make an unblended whiskey taste light and mild while a Spanish oak barrel for sherry can create an unblended whiskey with a sweet and rich scent. By blending these various unprocessed whiskies, they produce a brilliant one with a distinct amber color. There are also unblended whiskies with strong characteristics that can completely change the taste of an entire whiskey with just one drop, Fuji said. Quote, the essence of whiskey production is how to create and make the best use of various kinds of unblended whiskey. Unquote. Craftsmanship. In the Yamazaki district of Osaka Prefecture, the Katsura River, the Uji River, and the Kizu River merge into the Yodo River. The humidity there is suitable for maturing unprocessed whiskey and the spring water enjoyed by the great tea master Sen no Rikyu, 15, year 1522 to 1591, gushes out. Taking note of this environment, Suntory founder Shinjiro Tori, uh, born 1879, died in 1962, started building the distillery in 1926. He put his passion into making whiskey that would suit Japanese palates and created famous whiskey such as Kakuben, an old whiskey which paved the way for the Western liquor, for the Western liquor culture to take root in the Showa era, 1926 to 1989. Domestic whiskey, however, entered a long winter in the 1980s when the growing popularity of such drinks as the sochu highball, uh, shochu mixed with soda water, diversified drinking styles. The turning point came in 2003 when Suntory, Suntory's Yamazaki 12-year-old, got that here. What did I do with that damn thing? Right. Ah, yeah, got that right there. Let me start that again. The turning point came in 2003 when Suntory's Yamazaki 12-year-old won the gold prize for the first time in a worldwide alcoholic beverage competition. The whiskey uses 
only on blended whiskey that has been matured for more than 12 years. Since then, the reputation of delicate and harmonious Japanese whiskey has continuously increased abroad and has become very popular. According to trade statistics of the finance ministry, the export value of Japanese whiskey in 2018 reached about 15 billion Japanese yen, more than 10 times the 2008 amount of around 1.4 billion yen. A tour of the distillery is so popular that chances to make reservations can run out several months ahead, with foreign visitors being frequent participants. Quote, the Japanese people are known for excellent craftsmanship, unquote, said a 32-year-old Canadian while tasting unprocessed whiskey. Before I get into the next part, let's have another sip. Well, damn, I obviously poured the, ro the wrong drink here since I'm reading all about Suntory. I mean, it's not talking anything about Nika or other brands as of yet. And I'm drinking a Nika brand. I feel like I'm drinking the wrong thing. Mm. Continuing on. This is a new subtitle here. Almost 100 years. At the end of the tour, participants learn how to make whiskey mixed with soda water. Slight differences in temperature and the foaming of the soda water can make the beverage even tastier. Quote, by conveying how to enjoy whiskey, we want to hand the essence of Japanese, sorry, by conveying how to enjoy whiskey, we want to hand the essence of domestic whiskey over to the next generation as we approach 100. Unquote, Fuji said. At home, I tried to make whiskey mixed with soda water as I was taught. The whiskey flowed into the glass with a gurgle, and then the ice cube in the glass made a crackling sound. The scent wafted from the glass as if flowers were opening softly. Then the blissful time arrived, and when the long time it took to mature in mind, cheers. Did I just read that wrong? What the hell did I just say? The scent wafted from the glass as if flowers were opening softly. Okay. Then the blissful time arrived, and with the long time it took to mature in mind, cheers. Got it. I got it that time. So there's uh, something else that's listed here. There is a map showing where the Suntory Yamazaki Distillery is at the Yamazaki and the old Yamazaki train stations in Osaka and Kyoto because it is literally on the border between both places. It says how to get there. About a 10 minute walk west from the JR Yamazaki Station or Honkyu O Yamazaki Station. Reservations are needed for a tour in which visitors can have a look at the exhibition facilities and experience tasting with a guide. The 80 minute tour for 1000 yen is held every day except the end except the year end and new year holiday period. The 100-minute tour for 2,000 yen is available only on Saturdays, Sundays, and national holidays. Reservations are taken by phone at, here goes the phone number, 075-962-1423 or online at https www.suntory.co.jp slash factory slash yamazaki slash info slash. Uh, something else here. This is about how to extend your trip. This is less about whiskey, but still alcohol nonetheless. It says, extend your trip. Asahi Beer, Oyamazaki Villa Museum of Art. It's an Asahi Beer Museum, but there is no beer in the museum. It's just owned by Asahi and sponsored by them. 
about a 10-minute walk from JR Yamazaki Station, or Hankyu O Yamazaki Station, Asahi Breweries Limited bought a villa that has belonged to Shotaro Kaga, 1888 to 1954, who was involved in the establishment of Nika Whiskey and opened it as a brewery in 1996. And under... And... Yeah, that's right. An underground gallery designed by architect Tadao Ando displays paintings from Claude Monet's Water Lily series and other works. Wow. <sighs> that took me a long time to get through. But there's that. Great art. Man, that was a great write-up. That was a great, great write-up and translation by whoever did the translation of this i don't think uh it was hirofumi imazu himself that did that but man he written a great article there and whoever translated that amazing well i'm completely messed up at this point not really but i'm getting tipsy let me go ahead and finish this and close out this close out this video mm. already had like four drams of this and that's only where this thing is setting it now i'm gonna have to share this with some friends anyways gentlemen i thank you all for tuning in and uh listening to me read this newspaper clipping out in its entirety i want to say salute to you wherever you may be out in the world Make sure that you guys drink responsibly. And as always, gentlemen, you guys know what to do. Keep it classy. See you in the next one.